Well, I think it's time to explain why I don't hate Prager University. Now this is going to have some personal bias because I kind of got started watching Prager University. They actually made me more libertarian, in ironic sense, than when I originally was. Before, I was much more moderate when it came to economics. But regardless of that, let's first start off saying what PragerU is. To start, PragerU is short for Prager University. Now, despite its name, it is not an actual university, but regardless of that, it is an American nonprofit organization that creates various videos on political, economic, and social and philosophical views on American conservative right-wing perspective. Now, that doesn't mean they always have a conservative in one of their videos. Sometimes they have a center-left person like Dave Rubin, or even they sometimes have some atheists who don't necessarily give videos on atheism, but give videos on some other topics. And of course, like any other political organization, it has its biases. It is a very strongly conservative think tank. A lot of their videos are good. For example, their videos on the gender pay gap. And of course, a lot of their other economic videos are also quite good. In that sense, I think they do fairly well. There's still going to be some biases, of course, that's to be expected, but they do, I believe, fairly well in that sense. And I think their series on the Ten Commandments was also quite good. I don't think you have to be a Jew or a Christian to find those very entertaining and very thought-provoking. However, some of their videos on kind of good and evil and, well, some of the more philosophical videos, not as good. And their videos about evolution are not the best either. That's where more of their religious conservatism gets in their way, I believe. Now when we go to their environmental videos, those are mixed bag a bit. Although I do think they are predominantly correct in what they say, their sources could be better. And although their history videos are also quite entertaining, they're probably too short and far too biased to give the full picture. Because they do skim over some things which could be very important and could give an entirely different view of things. Now, I know these are just supposed to be short YouTube videos, however, I think they should have maybe some more longer videos in this sense to go more in depth. Instead of using the videos as the main predominant source, I think they could do better with having other ways of interacting with the audience and giving them more information. Rather than just listing the sources, but also have some either longer content videos or some articles of their own on those topics. My other problem, although it should be kind of expected, is their undying devotion to Israel. But this kind of should be expected since the founder of PragerU is a conservative Jew. Now, by no means do I think that Israel is an awful country. However, there might be some problems with the government itself, not necessarily the people, obviously, because the people seem to be fine, because Israel is perhaps the, actually is the only Middle Eastern country which doesn't kill gay people, and it doesn't kill women for adultery. So in that sense, it is a good country. However, the government itself might be somewhat questionable in certain areas, but that's a topic for a different day. My main problem is that the undying protection of Israel, and also the fact that the PragerU is more towards interventionalism. I'm more of a non-interventionalist myself. I would much rather see the U.S. get out of the Middle East entirely, because I don't think we have any business being there. It doesn't help us, and it doesn't really help anyone else. But most importantly, it doesn't help us. So yeah, when it comes to their environmental videos, their videos on history, and their videos on philosophy, and their videos on foreign policy and foreign affairs, they could be better. Now, by no means do I think PragerU is a terrible channel. I still think it's predominantly good. They have their baggage, of course. But other than those few problems I have with it, it's, I think, still, as I said, a good channel. Now, a problem that some people have with PragerU is also their interpretation of freedom of speech. Many libertarians feel that they're being hypocritical when they say that PragerU should not be, be censored and they should not be suing Google because their videos are being censored. And that 
companies can do whatever they want. However, I have to disagree with libertarians there a little bit. I don't think it's hypocritical. For starters, they make a distinction between a platform and a publisher. There are legal differences between them. A publisher is liable for what it publishes, while a platform isn't. A publisher can remove whatever they want, for whatever reason, simply because they are liable for anything that they publish. However, a platform isn't liable for things that are published on it. They're not liable if someone lies about someone else on their platform. An example of a publisher in which they can take down anything they want, it'd be, well, PragerU. PragerU is a publisher. They're liable for anything that they published on their channel. Same goes for news outlets. They are also publishers. They're not platforms. Now, as I said, a platform isn't held liable. Now, the reason why platforms have this protection is so that there can be discussion, so that there can be other ideas, different views of things. However, instead, social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Google have been, well, not acting like that at all. They've been acting more like a publisher, in which they would get rid of or minimize certain videos or content they did not like. So instead of allowing more conservative views like that of PragerU, which are really benign, because none of their videos break the terms of service, even those very vague terms of service, but I digress. The whole point is, instead of using this protection to allow diversity of thought and ideas and views, they're censoring them. So instead of using their protections to act more like a platform, they are acting more like a publisher. So in essence, PragerU is correct, and they're not being hypocritical here. So in conclusion, I believe PragerU is predominantly good. They predominantly create good content. There is some bad content, but most of it I believe is good. And I don't believe they're hypocritical at all on the First Amendment. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a like, subscribe, share it, comment down below and tell me what you thought, and join the other followers in helping me reach 500 subscribers. Do all that, and I'll see y'all later. Pretty